Hello and welcome to Indulge Gadgets. I'm Tushar Tower and I'll be unboxing and reviewing the hottest gadgets every week. Now, if you're in the market for a top tier Android smartphone, 2021 has been a great year with the likes of the Samsung S21 Ultra, the OnePlus 9 Pro and the Mi 11 Ultra, giving consumers some serious options without any serious downsides or compromise. Earlier this year, Vivo threw its hat into the ring with the X60 Pro Plus, a phone that was built on the unique gimbal stabilization system of the X50 Pro. And the phone impressed with the camera setup. However, it missed out on a lot of table stakes for this segment. Stereo speakers, wireless charging, and water and dust resistance. There's a link to the full review in the description below. And so we have the X70 Pro Plus, Vivo's second flagship for the year. This is the one that fills the gaps that were in the X60 Pro Plus. And this truly seems like a complete package, at least on paper. Let's go ahead and unbox this and give you my quick first impressions. Taking a look at the box, Vivo's clearly emphasizing the Zeiss partnership uh, in this X70 Pro Plus. We have the camera, phone, front and center. There's a nice matte finish bumper case that Vivo's provided, along with um, the documentation. Standard USB-C to USB-A charging cable. A 66 watt flash charger and even a wired pair of earphones. As phone boxes go, this is about as complete an unboxing experience as you're ever going to get these days. Let's take a look at the phone once we've set it up. Having set it up, it's immediately obvious that the X70 Pro Plus ditches the faux leather back that the X60 Pro Plus had, opting instead for a matte glass finish with a skinny metal frame on both sides. There's just a single Enigma black finish which looks and feels premium, but it's rather slippery in the hand. You can snap on a bumper case which adds plenty of grip, even as it adds a bit of thickness to the phone's 8.89mm thickness. Of course, there's the addition of an IP68 rating for dust and water resistance this year around. In the hand, the phone is rather slim given that it has a large 6.78 inch 120Hz AMOLED display with curved sides and stereo speakers this time around. The quad camera module on the back protrudes quite a bit and leaves the phone rather top heavy. Alongside the camera is what Vivo calls a ceramic cloud window, a reflective panel which is emblazoned with the ProPlus branding and the Zeiss partnership. If it wasn't immediately obvious, the camera is clearly the headlining feature here with four rear cameras, which includes a 50 megapixel wide angle camera, a 48 megapixel ultra wide angle camera, a 12 megapixel telephoto camera with 2x optical zoom, and another 8 megapixel periscope telephoto camera with 5x optical zoom. The 48 megapixel ultra wide angle camera has a gimbal for image stabilization across all three axes. And this is the ace up Vivo sleeve that has in the past enabled some impressive low light photography and videos. Vivo's added its own V1 imaging chip this year, which helps out in a whole bunch of ways, including smoothing out frames while gaming and image and video processing. All the camera lens have Zeiss's own T-star coating, which helps in reducing glare and ghosting in low light photos. Selfie duties are handled by the 32 megapixel front facing camera. The Vivo X70 Pro Plus is also the first phone in India to launch with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 Plus processor, which is a minor upgrade to the Snapdragon 888 found in most premium Android flagships. There's 12 GB of RAM and 256 GB of storage space, both of which check off the specs boxes nicely. The phone comes with a 4500 mAh battery with a 55 watt wired and 50 watt wireless charging support. And interestingly, there's even an infrared remote control to let the users control ACs, TVs, etc. A move which is a touch inspired by the competition, but one that is good to see nonetheless. So that's the new Vivo X70 Pro Plus for you. A phone that has had Vivo go all out and not hold back any punches. How well does it fare? Wait for the full review out on indulgeexpress.com. Now don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. And see you next week with more hot gadgets.